Gaiman Gladiators versus PSG LGD for the lower bracket finals of Dream League Season 20. Leveled up, it will be a little bit easier for Quinn. He did opt to go for Shadow Strike. The panel kind of talked about the inherent tankiness of DK to where maybe you don't oh, even want to go for that skill. Mew getting first blooded by Duraccio on the Slark. Not what you want to see if you're a PSG LGD fan. Tofu on the other side. I have to pop the fairy fire. I genuinely do not have an explanation of how he got that rune. Oh, top lane. We have the initiation onto Shiro, but the save is here from why you smile. But it's actually going to set up the meaty hammer from Ace, but now nothing to say has come to play. Dragon Tail immediately dispelled by the Kraken shells. A nice double impale coming out from Tofu. As why you smile will be the one to die. Nobody from Game and Gladiators will be sacrificed. I think the Marana pick in this game is extremely good for a couple of reasons. So first of all, as you mentioned, the two setups for arrows, right? Disruption and Dragon Tail. But I also find Marana to be a pretty interesting hero in general against Slark. Okay, we're gonna see Blink into Arrow. Nice block there from Celery. Yep, why you smile. Gonna get some help from Planet and nothing to say. The Sonic Wave comes in, gets the kill along with some damage to two more members of LGD. But Neo has showed up and that means Quinn needs to get the hell out. Looking for a disruption, disruption into Arrow, and it connects. Nicely Clean. timed, Quinn assassinated. And now the chase is potentially on to Celery. Mystic Snake's gonna slow him temporarily. Another leap to come, nice blocks coming out from Planet. Oh, really good block. With the Star Storm to follow, and that ends up being a double kill for Shiro. Who's still working on the Manta style. Do they want to wait for this blink on Ace? Is that a requirement? Um. Not necessarily, but I think a full-on team fight, you need to be really careful with how you approach. Neo trying to bait them a bit. There's a bunch in the trees here. Nothing this day. Showing off the blink dagger. They get the arrow follow-up as well, but Quinn able to blink out because of Ace's Ravage. And you can see the finger of death used to assassinate Plan. In the meantime, nothing to say. Slow to a crawl. He's going to get pounced on and destroyed. So the bait ends up working in Game and Gladiator's favor. Now the Holy Locket being built by Celery on the Undying. Yeah, that's not something we've seen that much. Yep, nothing to say. Dragon Tail, Arrow connects, but Quinn blinks. Snake. But the Mystic Snake is enough to take him out and Tofu will likely be collateral damage. Although Ace is in the vicinity, but the Breathe Fire is enough to finish him off. And they actually want more. So he's getting <laughs> blocked by the Kobold. <laughs> and blocked a hero. He was a hero in and of himself. <laughs> Duraccio is found by PSG LG because he's on the wrong side of the river. LGD with a 3k lead right now. Not exactly, I mean, when do you think they could go for the old Roche? Is this a game where either team is? The Ravage comes through from Ace out of nowhere with the blink and the burst damage from Tofu is enough to take out the Timber. And Planet trying to go on the run as the Sonic Wave is not gonna be enough to save them. So PSG LGD lose two and likely the tower to come. Yeah, really nice jump there from Ace. Just very quick execution from Gaiman. They just get everything they could there. They could not have got more than those two kills in that tower, so maximum value with their spell casting. Oh, I don't think this is happening, is though. Here. We'll see. TP coming in now. Impale to follow. Mana Drain as well. Shiro has to be careful. He doesn't have his ult anymore. He's getting mana burned as well, but Celery is the one taking most of the damage, it feels like. And he's going to drop as a result. Ace lowering that damage with the anchor smash as Quinn has to back away. Do they have the follow-up? As the stun connects on the nothing to say, and that'll end the pursuit in its tracks, as the arrow <laughs> apparently did connect. Um, going straight in for the Medusa first is just not going to work. Maybe going for the DK, though. Yeah, they they might try for it. And he's going to pop his BKB and the Dragon form, so that indicates he may want to fight this out as Mew shows up as well. Meteor Hammer not going to hit anybody. They take out the Tombstone pretty quickly as Shiro with snake. that Stone Gaze. Trying to pursue now. Where's the additional catch? It's going to be nothing to say with the Dragon Tail on to Celery. And look at that Sonic Wave with the finger. It's enough to delete nothing to say and the Ravage to follow from Ace. Can they get any more though? The Aegis obviously still intact and Shiro very healthy on top of that. So they kind of trade Ultimus to some degree and nothing to say the only casualty. Do they even have a trusty shovel anymore? Yeah, they have another backpack. The Hex is there. Meteor Hammer to follow. Plan is going to take the brunt of the damage here, but Ace has to pop his pipe because he's taking tons of damage from Shiro as he pops the Stone Gaze and that Chakram just ripping through Gaming Gladiators. 
but they're still occupying this area in advanced preparation for the Roshoff. And okay. Horatio running right into Shiro. There's the Ravage from Ace Meteor Hammer to follow the Sonic Wave as well. But the disruption to save the Medusa and likely the Stone Gaze to follow. Doracho just stunlocked right now and brought down to his knees. Ace is going to get punished on top of that. Double kill for New and PSG LGD winning that outright. Yeah, still buyback available for Shiro. Worst case scenario as... Gaming Gladiators in the pit. Can they do this in time? I don't think so. LGD, right? Although they are not going even, straight to them. Even if they were to kill the Roche, how the hell do you exit after? That's true. Celery is going to pop left. some of these smokes here pretty shortly. And Shiro and company, they're going deep. Nothing to say. Jumps in with a BKB. Shiro with the Stone Gaze getting Mana Drain from afar. As the Tombstone placed in the pit. Roche not really that low as the Lion dies. Ace gets off the Ravage, but really nothing connecting. And Duraccio trying to finish off the Roche. He does get it. the Aegis. It's going to cost him the Aegis right off the bat. As New getting pursued by Celery and Quinn on the outskirts still. Oh, He's already expected the Sonic Wave. She's also picked up by Duraccio. So a nice job from Gaming Gladiators. But they will lose Celery on the exit. And LGD. Quinn blinked that get Dragon Tail. That might save his life and it will. Yeah, he's fine. They keep the game alive. It's They're not really progressing, but at the very least, they give themselves a fighting chance against LGD. And if they find this pick... Yep, they want nothing good. to he's say. Alone, That's a lot of Aspen shifts back now. Nothing to say. Tries oh. to Dragon Tail, but yeah, you can see the 26 temporary Agi right now is Shiro's going to have to Silver Edge away. And Duracho, I think he's going to try to ride this momentum, right? Like, you've got 22 stacks. Yeah, Make some more out of them. Yeah, this is very annoying. <laughs> Those illusions are pretty strong. Where's the mana drain, guys? When you need it. All right, Shiro, Shiro wants Silver to go for Edge it. Wants to break Ace. The shield rune is taken right after, though. He he's, can't. He can't take oh, it. Oh, he didn't take it because he's dispelled. Yeah, he's purged. And purged Ace. Do anything. He's gonna live with a barely any HP. Shiro pops the BKB, getting pursued by the Timber Saw as New finishes him off, and Shiro popping that Stone Gaze. So. Not even having. She actually pops the cheese on Duraccio. Arrow's gonna connect with a nice disruption, dodging the Sonic Wave effectively. Shiro, I think he eats a Lotus there, but now he's out of mana, has to try to stand his ground, and he's doing so very successfully. Kills Duraccio, Celery oh dead as well. God. And only one remaining member of Gaiman is oh. alive, and it's just the Lion. I really thought that was gonna go well for Gaiman, actually. They got Shiro down to no mana at all, but that flower, it, it must have been a, a greater, right? There, and that just really turned it entirely. Gaiman had him there for sure. And now instead, this is probably just gonna be GG straight down mid. At the very least for Gaiman. <laughs> That's Medusa. the king of the Kennys. Oh. I don't know what his name is, though. I've, I've ran out of names. Uh, They're going to go for Kezu, the Megas. Kezu. Kezu, right? The king of the, the kobolds. Yes. Oh. And the tier three will fall. I mean, that's that's Ko the bold, of course. I mean, this guy is, this guy is regal, so. It's, Ace it's trying king. to delay this as much as possible. King King the Kobold. All right. The King yeah, of I'm the dying. Kobolds won't matter. Celery dies, buys back. It's Megas. They use the fortification. And everyone's going to be up in a second. But you'd have to think they have enough damage to finish this off. And indeed they do. The Ravage coming in from Ace. Now the focus is on you. He's going to pop his BKB along with Shiro. Sonic Wave to come as well, but just too much damage to withstand for Ace. Who's in enemy lines at that point. And now PSG LGD trying to run, but disruption. Gonna save New for the time being. Gets forced after the high grounds. Duracho continuing to try to get a kill here. And with the help of the finger, they do find one. And the pounce connects on a nothing to say. He'll just casually BKB TP. Yeah. I like this disengage from PSG LGD. Oh, they're gonna lose their Shadow Demon just barely there with a stun from Tofu, but... Despite getting Megas, there's no need to get too cocky there and try to take that fight 4v5 with a dead timber. Just cut your losses, reset. You have every advantage in the world now. They had two really good shards for their supports. I think I think they should have done it, and if Undying didn't get it, he should have bought it. I actually think it's that important this game. You're playing against... Well... Yeah, that was a lion. As Duraccio trying to stand his ground, will pop the Shadow Dance, the Stone Gaze. It's going to force them to back out, and now they're going to chase them even further. He's gonna, well, I guess that's the Shadow Dance. First it was the Death Shot, but oh. he's able to get stunned just as it runs out. Uh, it's over. It's and a he minute has no without buyback. him. 
Straight down mid, they are gonna go. Yeah, so if you have the if you have the grab ally this game, you can GG's yeah, they're gonna call it. You can protect people from this setup of Dragon Tail into Arrow, right? Or Shadow Demon Disruption into Arrow. Yeah. I definitely think there were gonna be a couple of key moments where having that tombstone save could have been very interesting for them in team fights, because the way LGD approached a lot of the fights was that they found that setup and just got a quick kill and then played off it, or you used the Ravage and the fight developed. A taste from Game and Gladiators, oh, we get to see Quinn. I believe they said that's his first time playing Primal Beast in this tournament. Yeah, I think so. We see Newt trying to pull these creeps so that he can get some free farm in this lane. And Duracho trying to disrupt that, and he does. Get the deny as well as the charge coming from the other side, so the double oh, team onto New. And the blood grenade there as well. I mean, Celery will get first blood. Planet trying to get some sort of a trade here. It's fairy and fire. Custom shot, and another fairy fire for Celery. And he actually loses vision, so Celery will actually live. As he's going to be stacking creeps now as you can see Quinn shows up at the top lane looking for the kill onto New, but TP is coming. Pulverize is going to be there though, waveform as well. He gets silenced mid pulverize though, so that third proc does not connect. And Ace in the meantime, is he actually going to die to this? Shiro continuing to pursue, Blood Grenade is going to connect. And Shiro does find Ace. They didn't ban it, they didn't consider it perhaps. Oh, oh, Coil mid lane, nothing to say. Finds himself a Clinksy Clinks. Will be able to... Uh, I think he killed himself. It did snap in the end there. And Planet, he's going to get gone on by Quint. So it's a one for one on the supports. Or position where you can get two men coiled or turned around on by the X dagger that's coming out now. Skyrath also has Mystic Flare. So I think very important to know your limitations here as Primal. Yep, and they are gonna spot the Morphling if they can get the call off. I think this is a death. There it is, but he's next to Creeps. Mystic Flare on the outskirts, it's enough, and New chops him up. And that is gonna be the first Calling Blade stack of the game. It's a big kill. The top net worth hero on Gaming Gladiator's side. Yep, and they lane. get the tower as well. They'll get some sort of a trade, although Why You Smile pops the hand of Gaben. And the charge is going to connect, so YSMI will die. But the rotation from nothing to say. He gets the coil off onto two more. TP's coming in. And the chop, not going to be there for New, but they find the kill anyway. And now a call comes out from New. Wants to pursue even further. Ancient Seal is going to prevent any onslaught action. And the waning rift is enough. Whereas the utility items on the other side, mainly on the Celery dark here. spotted out. Onslaught's coming from Quinn, but the coil stops him in his tracks. They'll be able to get the cap to start things out, but the vac wall with the tar bomb to assist. Wayu Smile's gonna get chased, but Tofu looks to be chopped down, so it's a two for one as Ace forced to surge away. Should be fine. This game, no exception. I don't think Primal in particular is good against Puck, so. Now the charge onto New. TPs are coming though. Planets in the vicinity as well oh, as the Ancient Seal. They're gonna get the Nether Strike off onto New on the back line. He's still completely surrounded, but nothing to say. Now how's come with the coil available, the vacuum. Mystic Flare is there. They're gonna be able to kill off Quinn easily. They get a oh second my on God, top, he's and alive. they somehow live on you. Oh. Ancient Seal still on the Dark Seer. Ace is dead as well. Completely punished. What a turnaround. Well, nothing to say. This would be a big kill. They're able to get the pulverize off, but the phase shift is there because of the call coming out. And nothing to say will live. Quinn trying to run away now. Nothing to say Again. wants to finish the job, and he does so. Game and Gladiator's not able to get anything in these engagements. Yeah, that's what's going to be interesting here is his mindset overall. Because does he think the BKB is necessary and is good enough? Or maybe you just go Lincolns against the Morph Spirit Breaker. That also sounds really good. Ancient Seal, uh, Battle Hunger, Force dead. Staff into the Berserker's Call. Not able to get the chop off, though. There's a smoke now from PSG LGD. And actually wrapping around, they're going to run right into Quinn tofu. and Tofu. Tofu's going to be the first spotted. Quinn will run away. Oh. That was pretty close. It's very tanky. Does a lot of damage. And they have the sustain from the Chen. They have the coverage of the Axe and the Puck. So going to have to 
It, it is really just, can Duracho come up big enough? I think that's what we're looking at here. They need to do their best to set him up to turn into Brood, give him good targets to go Long on. Spots coming for Shiro. 20 seconds on Aegis, yeah, he doesn't Aegis care. Out, but the Berserker's call is there. But it looks like Quinn will be the first to fall with the Mystic Flare, but a big back wall comes in. Yu's gonna be able to run away. Shiro trying to get to the high ground. The Aegis is consumed. Pretty close to expiration date anyway, like you said. Now the Lincolns is popped. Trying to find some space. The waveform's gonna find him temporarily. With all this terrain walking, it's gonna be tough to follow. Although Duraccio turns into the spider. And maybe New's gonna be the one they find. Although Quinn is gonna get jumped on by both New and Shiro. Charge comes in to disrupt this as New will finally go down. Quinn with the trample. Looks like one more right click will do it, but oh, he's actually gonna, gonna live, gonna live oh. for once this game. Quinn lives and they get two core kills. That's big. That was a, that was going to be a dieback. They really committed to that with the X brute jump, but not enough resources. X died too quickly. Now they're going to get an extra one. So indeed, Game and Gladiators. This could be the start of a comeback. Some pretty meaningful kills there. They went from being down eight or nine k to the six, and now also getting this tower will cut it down to five. Oh, he also had no trouble doing so because there is charge always there. Yeah, they can break the Lincoln's a, anytime. Lincoln's break. Is that why you smile spotted? Celery's gonna go through it. Oh, the counter initiation perfect. is there from New onto two, but no follow up as of yet. He's gonna pop the BKB, the VAC into nothing as Celery taking most of the damage from that Mystic Flare. Pulverized on the BKB. New who chops up Celery, now trying to get the hell out of there, but he won't be able to do so. So it's a one for one to start. As Duraccio is silenced up, will Manta it off. It looks like the fight will break up here. My goodness, talk about a perfect call there. He got it off as Darkseer was blinking in, so he got it on both of them. But at the end of the day, Gaming Gladiators are just able to brute force through it with their BKBs. And but killing Sky early would be a great opener to the fight for Gaming Gladiators when they can find it. And all it takes is to see him for one moment, then they can charge and kill him with Clinks plus one. Smoke on both sides. Quinn, you can hear the onslaught, but the initiation onto on the, on the Morphling, oh, but a huge back wall onto four heroes. Now the BKBs are activated. And now why you smile and you trying to run away. Don't think they're going to be able to do so. So two dead. Very quick turnaround from Game and Gladiators off of, honestly, an amazing initiation from New. Just wasn't fast enough. And Duraccio getting chased by his broodmother counterpart. Or the other way around, of course. That made no sense. Tofu dies. Nothing to say. Lincoln's is already popped. We'll illusory orb away. It's so hard to kill. He'll get out. He might be forced to now already, though. Gaming gladiators are kind of threatening to go high ground. Yeah, I don't Looks see like why they'll not. Realize that threat. And some pressure being mounted now in the tier three bot. Ace gonna hide behind the trees. The surge into the vacuum. Wall is placed. It's not a big one though. But they will be able to claim the Sky Wrath, but the counter initiation from New is there. Blade Mail popped along with the Berserker's Call, but he's just going to get pulverized. Doesn't do much damage during the BKB. But New will be cleaned up very easily as Chen Creeps finally come to assist in this defense. This is looking more and more like a lane of racks, though, for Game and Gladiators. The coil is down. As there's a big vacuum charge to come, trample as well. The Chen is the recipient of most of the damage, but he might be able to live through this. Pulverize, no cancellation coming out. So Yu Smile is in the grave, and Shiro and company have to reside in their fountain as they just have no damage on LGD's side now. Yeah, that really is the summary of what's happening right here. They, they're just out of damage. That's a lot of webs. Wow, he's trying to lag the server. They all despawn. That's <laughs> <laughs> tip by Ace. Yeah, they're just watching Duracho win the game. Yep. They can't go on the morph. They can't kill him. Oh, they're going to initiate. But, <laughs> yeah, New's going to want to die there as the vac, or the wall, I should say, being placed again. And I think LGD have just run out of steam in this game number two. Yeah. It's now a satanic online for Duraccio. Yeah, I think you're right. GG's going to come out. Puck just didn't have the damage. I, I like new things, like weird things that LGD bring. To the table. I don't understand what the point of the brute position one was, though. We talked about the last game and how LGD kind of ran out of damage and ran out of steam at some point. This feels like something similar could end up happening here again if Gaming Gladiators just weather the storm and they feel unkillable towards the late game. Juggernaut, we've talked about how his 
that oh, talent is the blood grenade onto Ace, trying to limp away here, but Shiro, a couple more right clicks, but the nice flame break from Tofu will save his life. As top lane instead, Planet goes down to Celery, which they knowingly gave up, and that's his favorite hero. And in the previous patch? Yeah, he's second in so, CS. Yeah, and that's while laning against Oracle. It's kind of unheard of, right? But it's just more of a knit norm right now, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. Fortune's Ends comment. Arrow's gonna, okay, well, do they have the damage to actually finish off Darachi? Who pops the Fairy Fire, Dark Pact as well! He will fall as Tofu's made his transition over. Celery taking in a ton of damage. That's gonna be two for LGD. They lose the Mirana, and Why You Smile looks to be next as Tofu trying to get the last right click there. So nice double kill for Tofu at the very least for Game of Gladiators. And uh, had a Lotus Flower as well. Celery will create enough distance between himself and nothing yep. to stay for now. Pulverize is coming with the arrow to connect, and the trample is enough. Along with the Star Storm, in fact, is Quinn a little bit late on the Rolling Thunder. Yeah, I don't know why he held it there. Fortune's end. Not going to matter too much. It's been basically every game, even in the losing games, this yeah. hero has looked really good. He's definitely been good. There's nothing to say, making his way over now. Ace with the surge out as Duraccio gets taken out in top. And the Blade Fury is there to kill Ace. So two big kills across the map for PSG LGD. Although, I mean, I suppose both the Jugger and Brood have recovered quite well. They're definitely well behind their enemy counterparts. Actually, the majority of the net worth lead is on the supports when you look at it. Well, Moonlight Shadow, they want to try to turn this around onto Quinn. There's nothing to say. He's going to spot him. Has the pulverize. Arrow's going to be coming. It connects with the Star Storm onslaught. Yes. Kill for PSG LGD. Catching Game of Gladiators off guard as Tofu <laughs> somehow able to TP out. They just didn't have a stun. And Shiro. Uh, yeah, 300 away from Broadsword and then just the recipe to finish off the Battle Fury. So pretty decent timing considering his start. As Celery was getting initiated on, but Quinn's gonna roll in Thunder. He inhibits nothing to say. They have the ward there, but the lasso coming in as well. Nothing to say. Oh, actually, they denied the ward, so they didn't get the vision in the end. And now Tofu's gonna get turned around with that pulverize as Quinn left all alone. Has Swash up now with the shield crash. Oh. Gets to the other side of the river. Can they finish him off? The Star Storm not quite enough on the other side of the tree line, oh. and the trample finally comes. Oh, Nothing to say with a double that kill. Long. <laughs> that was oh. a clutch denied, either that or dissipated. Yeah, another good sequence for PSG OGD. And keep in mind while all of this is at. Oh, hang on, Ace. Ace. That is not Let's a good Pulverize trade. again. Blade Fury to follow. Ace. Gonna heal up a bit, but the Blade Fury ends up being enough. Tofu making his way over as well, does not have Lasso. Shiro gets off the first Omni Slash of the game. The arrow will not hit though. And Shiro, he's gonna have to get False Promise now. Attempting to TP. Nice but pounce. the pounce is there, but the counter oh initiation God, from nothing vanished. to say deletes Duraccio. So they do find the Jug as Quinn getting gone on. The Purifying Flame is gonna end up healing him a bit, but another one to come will finish him off. And nothing to say. We'll have Faith's Edict applied to him as the Starstorm's continuing from Planet. He has done so much damage along with nothing to say. And guess what? The Pulverize back again. That cooldown is so low. Holy. Four dead. Actually, that was a full team wipe. That was an expertly played fight from Fusility. Specifically on Ench instead of Bat will be that kill. And in the meantime, Neo was also breaking the mid tower. So huge wins there. Oh, Neo trying to get to the low ground, but the Firefly from, the to from Tofu. Able to spot him out. Calm before the storm right now. Indeed. Atos. Oh. Atos into the arrow. Star Storm and Pulverize. Tofu can't do anything about it. Quinn is dead. Tofu looks to be next, although Ace gets off the Greaves. Puts down the wall. But that's not going to do too much. See if they can catch him after the surge here. has run out. You can hear the onslaught coming from nothing to say. He wants more. Trample is there, but another surge from Ace will allow him to escape. A toast there by Quinn. Shiro, he's going to get pounced on. It's going to force the Blade Fury. Tofu trying to find position to be able to get the lasso off. He puts down a healing ward, though. Flame break. Here. He's going to have to Omni Slash. TPs are coming, but now he's going to be closer to the wall on the other side, in fact. Trump's not going to be too happy with that one as Shiro continuing on now as Celery gets off the heal. 
at half HP. Nothing to say. Gets the Pulverize off, but not that much damage done to Quinn in the end. He's going to get surged away. Vacuum into the Shield Crash. As BKB popped by New. And Duraccio forced to use his Shadow Dance to get away. Inhibit now on Nothing to Say. Slow to a crawl, but the Onslaught gives him enough space. Uh, he finds Tofu on the backside now with the Trample to continue, but he's going to get disarmed in the time being as Quinn gets off another Shield Crash onto the other side of the tree line. And Shiro... <laughs> There's been no death somehow. Blade Fury from Shiro. Of course, does not have his Omni Slash, but he can be confident as the arrow is going to come in and delete Quinn as finally a hero dies after a very strange engagement. So you're kind of, you know... You know Smoke's going to get Pop, nothing to say. Pops the Blade Mail himself as the rune will spawn top. He's going to get lassoed back. He's going to pop the BKB shortly after those celery. He's going to take some right clicks from New as the Pulverize is there, but nothing to say, getting really low, and now he's surrounded. Will finally be brought down, and the rest of LGD on the run. Why you smile still being spotted out despite the Moonlight Shadow. He's going to get swashed to death. And the BKB forced from New, who will casually TP away. And Planet, he gets off the Atos, but they're continuing to dive as the Swashbuckle's there as well. And Game and Gladiator is able to get three kills. Really good punish. Off of a good initiation onto nothing to say. Yeah, they took a lot of advantage of the terrain there. Duraccio. We'll yep. start off on why you smile. Okay. Here. Well, that's not exactly what he was looking for. Instead, it's going to be the Spider-Man. As you can see, nothing to say will be just fine thanks to that face edict. Why you smile, though, taking most of that damage. But the Atos into the arrow and the Pulverize. But Tofu still able to traverse terrain. Nothing to say going in really deep as this the Omni Smash Omni. basically on the Ace and Duraccio. And Ace actually takes almost all of them and will die as a result. Very balanced, of course. Is, oh, is this a Roshoff we got brewing here? A oh, planet. He's going to take a lot of oh, impetus. Nice. Gets back. hurricaned as well. And Shiro with a premature blade fury. I've been there before. Nothing to be ashamed of. Is the and company? They're going to find the opening with the lasso, but the Omni Slash. Oh, that's, that's the Swift Slash this time. Able to heal up a decent oh, amount, nice but he is Quinn. surrounded now and brought to his knees as Quinn creating all the space. He gets a double kill off the back of a great initiation as New completely surrounded as well. And Gaming Gladiators able to win this fight big, which should mean Roche is theirs. Oh, that was such a good ulti from Quinn. He he blink stunned the Oracle as False Promise. I mean, he again, he could have False Promised. He just waited to the last second and then got stunned. Yeah, I think in that moment it wouldn't have mattered. Like that was just about getting the perfect ult, but Quinn just outplayed him. And Thoraccio starting this out. It's a double lasso comes out from Tofu. He's instantly stunned, though. And the Omni Slash to follow. It might have been a Swift Slash, actually. As Shiro, the Blade Fury doing a lot of damage. He has the Shard. He still has Omni. He's going to get back, though. Still inside the wall. He's taking a lot of damage from these Illusions, but will live through the day. Synergy being put on display here. Shiro. El just El needs to be so damn careful right Tier now. Tier 3 tower down. Fortification pop, 30 seconds on Aegis, so Gaiman do have to be a bit careful about the timing on that. 12 seconds on Aegis. Looks like they might just burn through it the old-fashioned way. Nope. Nope, he will survive, and we'll wait it out. You might want to just chill and try to delay. Oh, oh there he is. Another lasso. Finding the jug. Darachi able to dispel the Atos instantly, and look at New. He's just dead. Just like that. Tried to help out his Jug, who actually didn't end up needing anything. Yeah, not sure what Neil was trying to help him with either. Duraccio. Uh, he's big. Yes, he is. This is going to be a set of racks in the mid lane. 31 temporary stacks of Essence Shift, so 100 agility there. Bottom tower is only half HP. Yeah, there's a vac wall again, this time onto three with the Rolling Thunder follow up. Oracle's dead. Buys back instantly as the Pounce connects. Very nice oh, from Duracho. He's getting control, but finally gets off the Shadow Dance with the BKB, turning his sights onto the Juggernaut. Nothing to say. Not able to channel the Pulverize too much, and the Jug is dead. Shiro with no lasso. buyback. Double lasso just to finish this game off in style. Tofu, terrific play from him, and Game and Gladiators will win this series and go to the Grand Finals to meet off against Bet Boom. Yeah, it looked like... This might be the tournament that Gaiman don't make a finals appearance, but it was 
Who really thought this team... I mean, now at this point, they have to win the finals, right? Just so everything can be the same as always. Yep, uh, as always, yep. This, well, uh, Liquid didn't make it, though, so it's a little different. <laughs> Next year, they didn't even really come close to making it. And they do have the final bosses remaining. This was a really exciting game. I think very, very high-skilled play from both teams.